All right, guys. Um, so we've gone through ICP. We've gone through USP. Um, these are going to get you started in the right direction. Now let's kind of dive into data. Um, you got that stuff in front of you. Um, and uh, I'm going to go super basic for this video. I'm just going to show you guys kind of the lay of the land with, with LinkedIn Sales Navigator, sort of how, um, you know, how to scrape basic lists, how to create basic lists and scrape them, and um, just how to kind of use um, LinkedIn as a, as a data sort, source. Um, so first of all, I'll pull up an example and then we'll build one from scratch. So the first one I'm going to pull up is a search that I did um, where I was looking for web designers, okay, um, and, and, and companies, agencies that do um, web design. And I was going after specific ge geographical segments because in the email I was going to mention um, where they were located, okay. So if they were in Nevada, I was going to say, hey, you know, uh, looks like you're a top uh, web design company in Nevada, just to kind of connect the dots with them. So um, this is, you know, something, again, like segmentation, having separate ICPs for different segments, speaking to them specifically, that's, you know, going to be how you're going to get the best results. Um, I just want to show you the search here really quick, and then we'll go in and kind of create our own search, and I'll show you some advanced stuff uh, within here too. So here, uh, what I did was I chose Nevada as the location. Uh, I chose company headcount self-employed to one to 10 uh, employees, okay, and, and just making that kind of like smaller web design agencies. Seniority level, I set to owner, okay, and um, I, I just want owners here. I'm going to speak directly to the owners. And then we have um, years in current position. Um, which, you know, we have like one to two years, three to five years, and less than one year. I didn't want to go to, you know, people that had been around for a long, long time. And I wanted to segment this down a little bit. Um, then I use a keyword and I put in quotes web design. Okay. Um, now I could also do something like this. Okay. And this is the beginnings of what we call a Boolean search. Okay. We'll get into that in a second. Um, you can see that that just doubled uh, in size the list um, and gave us like more, uh, you know, specific results. So uh, I, I'm putting it in quotes because they need to have web design somewhere on their profile or website design on their profile um, so that I know that they do websites so that I can reach out. Okay. Now it's always really important that you kind of double check records after you uh, export them or after you get them. Um, you know, this is something we do at ListKit. We, we manually verify every single record to make sure it's within that ICP category and it's um, a valid lead, basically a valid prospect that can turn into a lead. Okay. Um, okay. So that gives you like a good example. I'm just showing you some really basic stuff here. I didn't choose industry here. Instead, I went for, um, you know, the keywords. Okay. And you'll just have to kind of experiment with um, whatever you're doing, whatever your target market is. Um, to see how that works. Okay, so I'm going to go back to home here. I'm going to open up all filters, and we're going to start a new search. And uh, on this one, what I want to do, and I want to want to clear everything here. I think, there, I think there was a way to clear everything here, but I'm not sure where it is. Um, so okay, so we'll just go manually and just uh, clear all this out. Okay, we don't want any of this. Let's start from scratch. Uh, zero results. Great. Okay. Um, so one thing you can do here, okay, so you have lead filters. So this is searching for leads and you have um, you know, things like relationship of how closely you're connected on LinkedIn. Um, you have years in their position, titles, all this kind of stuff. You also have account filters. Okay. And a lot of people skip this uh, and don't go into this and don't look at this, but um, account filters are slightly different where you can look at department head counts, go into different departments and, you know, kind of find the sizes of those departments. Uh, you can look for um, average, uh, you know, kind of like an estimate of an annual revenue in millions. Um, you can look at, you know, the fortune that they're in. Um, you can look at the number of their followers on their, on their LinkedIn, which a lot of times will indicate, you know, whether they're active on LinkedIn or not, which is great. Um, and, and you can even get into technologies used, okay, which uh, they're pulling this data from other places and, and we can, you know, you can use this. It's not like the most accurate on technologies, but that is a great way to get technographic data, you know, for pretty cheap, uh, given the, you know, $80 uh, uh, sales navigator subscription or whatever it is. You also have job opportunities. So guys that are hiring on LinkedIn, so they're growing, they're, 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 they're showing signs of growth, okay. Uh, which is really important. And um, and again, you have your, your relationship filter there on the account as well for people in the account. This is very powerful, okay? So I'm gonna do an example here where I just go after like, um, I'm gonna go after, let's say uh, CRM, okay? Um, I'm gonna go into industry and I'm gonna go into computer software. Uh, I'm gonna choose just the US. Um, and I am going to figure out ones that are hiring right now, okay? Um, 
we could also go here and say like, whoops, WordPress or something. Okay, if that was relevant, that's only 62 companies. Um, but I'm, I'll just leave it a little bit open right now um, to this. And uh, yeah, why don't we why don't we do this too? We can say like um, one to two million. Okay, oops, one to two million. All right, so 13 results that are in one to two million. Let's just go ahead and do that search and go ahead and look. So this is then going to give you. Um, and, and you can see this is all in Polish. It looks like these guys are in Prague. That's not America, so it's very strange. And, and sometimes there is discrepancies in here, and that's why you have to kind of go through these things. Um, now up here, I want to show you some filters. So right here, you have one with, with senior leadership changes in the last three months. This can be a huge opportunity. If you have a senior management hire, that means somebody's getting in that role and they're going to shake it up. They need to change the company. They need to um, get results quickly. And you might be that perfect solution to just jump in and help. Okay. We also have two accounts with recent funding. Uh, events in the last 12 months. Okay, so they just raised 20, 16 million. These guys just raised 5.4 million, and you can see that these guys just hired a senior management, and they raised 5.4 million. Um, these, this, this is a great, you know, th this, this is high growth uh, potential. These guys are growing. Um, they're looking to hire people. They're looking to get services. They're looking to spend that money and get ROI from that spend. Okay, um, so this is great, and you know, in this um, CRM space, you know what I mean? Just this little CRM space where. You know, we, 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 it is what it is. We're, this is a very small segment, right? Um, we could say something like business process automation. Okay, let's say we're going after those kind of companies. Okay, nothing com comes up under that. Um, workflow automation, you know, okay, nothing under that. So we could say automation. 21 results, okay? So this is more automation companies. Again, and we're still in the one to two million. You know, we may not want to go that high. And we put in automation. Now, wow, look at this. We've got, you know, 870, 242 with senior leadership uh, changes in the last uh, three months. Also, one to two million was really tight. Um, you know, you may want to go, you might want to go, you know, one million to 10 million. Okay. And add that. Now you got 146 and you've got 16 accounts that have, had, that have raised money. Um, you got 57 that have, you know, excuse me, changed senior leadership. Um, these are big, um, you know, these can be big uh, uh, kind of indicators, okay? So what do you do with this? Um, what do you do with this? So let's say like all of these, uh, let's let's say that these look really good, okay? These ones, this one looks great, this one looks great, this one looks great. Um, we're, we're, really, we're really happy with all these, okay? Let's just say we, we, we're going after these and this looks great. Um, what we want to do there is view current employees, and you'll see that it now it shifts from account results to lead results, and now we are in the lead zone, and we've just targeted these companies directly, and we know that they've got funding, and we know that they blah 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 blah, right? Um, so, so here we can go. So three were mentioned in the news in the past 30 days. That's powerful, but um, we can just go to seniority level. Let's say, uh, or 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 even title. Um, you know, let, let's say we're looking for. Uh, I don't know CMOs at these companies. Okay, let's just let's just let's just check that out. So there's only one CMO at this company. Okay, so at these companies. Now what you could do is you could say function, and you could say sales. Uh, you could also do marketing. Okay, and there's 90 in that zone, and you are looking at um, you know vice president, region, regional sales director. Okay, maybe you don't want to go after regional sales director. So let's go ahead and use seniority level, and um, let's take them up to like VP. Um, CXO, partner, and owner, okay, maybe even director, okay, and now we've got high-level, 156 high-level people at companies that are funded or, or have senior leadership changes in the last, uh, you know, a few, a few uh, months or whatever. You can see a lot of these are LinkedIn premium members, which means they may have open profiles as well, which means that you can send them uh, LinkedIn in, in mails for free, okay, um, but there's a lot of potential here in this list where now you have just pulled in, you know, um, a good list, a good sized list. Um, you know, it's not a lot of contacts, but we'll get into that later with personalized first lines. You don't always need a lot of contacts. Okay. So um, this is a, a really great list here. This is a great, this is very high intent list um, that you can pull in and, uh, and start running your outreach. Okay. Um, okay. So like, I'm going to go back and I'm just going to clear all of this. Um, and, uh, and I'll, and I'll go after something else here. Um, so maybe let's try going after, uh, all filters. Let's, let's go after, um, 
e-commerce. Let's go after Shopify owners. Okay. Um, so let's go over here to account filters. Okay, we want it saves our okay, let's let's get out of here. Uh yes, leave account filters clear. Let's kill this one too. Okay, let's go back to all filters. There we go. Um let's go in here and let's go to um no, first of all, let's go to technologies used. Whoops, let's go to technologies used and let's do Shopify. Maybe WooCommerce. You got a lot of different versions of WooCommerce you can hit here. So let's say like we just want to hit these uh, most recent versions. Okay, something like this. Um, okay, let's. Um, Let's show that they're hiring. Okay, let's see that they're hiring on LinkedIn, so they're growing. Okay, um, let's go to skincare and put that in. Okay, so that's 28 results in skincare. Um, let's go skincare or um, let's go makeup. So or um, beauty. Okay, let's just let's just run this search and let's take a look at what we've got. Okay, so this is a uh, technology used. We've got, you know, the uh, cosmetics brand, this cosmetics. Oh, yeah, cosmetics is a great one. Oops. So this is a Boolean search that I'm doing. Okay, so okay, 73 results. Um, okay, we're getting we're getting somewhere. Okay, this can keep on going out. You know, we could do uh, uh, home. That um, we could do. Uh, let's, just, let's just look at this, okay? So we have 243 results, okay? And senior management changes and a funding event here. But as you go through here, this is, you know, um, and, and we can even go revenue here. So let's say annual revenue, we go like one to 50 million. Just like see what that turns out. So 45, okay? So this is 45, you know, high um and 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 let's even try to take out the quotes here let's see what that does is that 45 still yeah still 45 so um again this is uh uh you know uh, let's see you know you'll have to do obviously this is your icp but i'm just trying to kind of show you how you can like really use a boolean search you also can do something like this where you put it in parentheses you could say skincare and e-commerce or shop I don't know you know what I mean you can you can run these kinds of boolean searches and even with that type, kind of tight search we found five results which is which is interesting uh, but these boolean searches can get pretty deep where you can say and or um, and and you can really dig, dig deep into your specific niche okay um, you know maybe we just say health see what that pops up with only 11. Okay, but again, we're going after 1 million to 50 million. If we take this out, 95 results, then maybe under a million. Um, so anyway, this is another, you know, this is just using technographic data um, here uh, where we're able to pull that in. We can, uh, you know, try different things. We have Clavio here as well. Um, you know, if they're using any of these technologies, uh, then we might want to reach out to them. For example, we might want to say United States. Um, and we might want to say, uh, you know, like I said, the skincare uh, or skin uh, or makeup or co uh, cosmetics or um, soap or uh, lotion. I mean, you know what I mean? These are just these are just ideas here. Um, and, and, you know, we're pulling in data here uh, that we can that we can use. OK, now how, how do you use this data again? You just click on this, you go view the current current employees flips over to lead results we can go over here we can actually um, just go to you know over here to uh, founders only and you have a list of 105 people here that uh, that are um, you know cosmetics using Shopify and using Clavio and using these kinds of uh, technologies and you can go ahead and reach out
Um, this, this is the power of LinkedIn Sales Navigators. They give you a lot of data. They give you a lot of ways to reach out. And I hope that um, this gave you, you know, kind of a good overview on how to find your target audience in here. Um, you can use things like industry. Um, you can use things like geography. Um, and, uh, and yeah, that's, that's how you do that. So uh, in the next video, um, I'll go ahead and uh, show you how to scrape emails out of there and, and we'll go from there. But uh, I hope that gave you kind of a good like 101 overview on LinkedIn Sales Navigator and I would uh, highly recommend it. Uh, it is a great um, software and, uh, and, and it'll help you a lot.